Yo, what is up you two men? Today I'm gonna be telling you guys all about how Max Badges changed my sharpshooting playmaker on NBA 2K22 current gen. The first build I made on the game. If you guys are new, man, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And as you guys can see, the reason I call it a sharpshooting playmaker is because I get 19 shooting badges and 25 playmaking. See, I get one finishing, nine defensive badges. Now you see right here, it says potential 17 and 24. That's just on 2Ks in. You guys know they made an update recently that kind of messed up the badges, but I do get 19 shooting and I get 25 playmaking. Now the pie chart I went to make this build was the more yellow than green pie chart because I knew everyone was gonna expect me not to be able to hit consistently with the shooting on this build because I'm just called a playmaker. But I mean, you see 19 shooting, I got a lot of badges on. Hot Zone Hunter, Sniper, and Stop and Pop are really all you need to hit every single shot. I like to fade, so I run difficult shots. I usually have Circus 3s on as well. I'll switch it up depending on who I'm playing with. Blinders is always good, Dead Eye Chef. If you guys want to copy my badges, you definitely can. You saw I showed the one finishing badge, and I put on Posterizer on Bronze. It doesn't really matter too much, but I do get dunks with this build, you know. At 99 overall, my dunk rating becomes a 70. I get some really crazy animations unlocking. Even at 66, I still unlock some nice dunk packages, and if I beat my defender, I can go to the paint and dunk the ball. And on a build like this with 99 speed, that is huge. Now, with the playmaking badges, of course, quick first step, handles for days. I run quick chain, Hall of Fame, hyper drive. You could put it to Hall of Fame, and I had it there for a while, but 2K Labs did say it's not really worth the badge points having it on Hall of Fame, so I've dropped it to silver. I usually run dimer for my teammates, and then I'm pluckable bullet passer. Of course, badges like that, you're going to want to have on. The same thing with bailout. Now, with the defensive badges, now, I maxed out everything in my defensive category they gave me nine defensive badges and i do think it was worth it. i could have had higher shooting but even at 99 i got an 85 three-pointer and 84 mid-range i mean it's consistent i can hit with that all day and uh, i got a gameplay to end the video you'll see this is a pretty old gameplay i'm playing with my man beast this is when he first started playing the game he's only like a level nine of course now i'm a level 40 before season two is starting but this is just a great game to show because you're going to see the speed, you're going to see the dunking, you're going to see a little bit of everything. And I'm able to play like a shot creator on this build. Now, would it have been better to make maybe a play shot? You know, that is debatable. I like having this build though because it gives me the exact way I want to play. I can beat my defender and dunk. I can fade. I got a ton of playmaking for my teammates. I don't have to have a set team. I could run with anybody with this build, whether it's pick and pop, pick and roll, ISO. I can do it all right here, beating this guy to the paint. Now, I mean, he wasn't that bad. It wasn't wide, wide open, but just, you know, the dunk rating is solid and maybe you're not getting that on a play shot. It could be a lot better on this build depending on how you do the wingspan and if you make this exact build it was one of my first build videos i made i would definitely recommend going with the max wingspan it is worth it beast close range shot right here hits that he didn't have many badges i'm not even sure what overall he was he is gonna shoot a lay i think once in this video but don't worry about it we will get it back as I was saying earlier in the video, I did make this build with one of the new pie charts. And I think pie charts like this are awesome, you know. It is pretty similar to a play shot. You could even make the build with this pie chart and get the play shot name. But it also gives you the option to be taller on this build and get to 99 speed. Maybe something a play shot couldn't do. Step it back. We get that steal. I'm fading it. Fades are aught automatic it is so easy to fade this year if you get the timing down now it is going to be something you got to get used to though i've made videos about fades you get different looking animations based on how far you are from the rim but i have definitely mastered all those these goes to the paint right here i dex back out shoot the big white i mean the rating on this build gives you those green whites as you guys see i mean i know you've been playing threes twos it does not matter the mode and they've just been shooting full bars and making every single one of them i would say it's like that on this build now it's a little bit lower than say a play shot so maybe you're missing one or two more of those extra but we shoot greens on this channel so we do not have to worry about it now in this gameplay specifically right here i'm not even sure i don't think i was 99 in this and i don't think i had my gym rat done so i'm doing all of this at 91 speed you see i'm still moving very well he's got to sit in the paint because his dude I mean, he gave up a dunk first possession of the game. That is something I love to do. If I can ever get to the rim first possession, that is going to make the center question his guard's defense the whole game. I mean, a lot of the times the guard is in the party saying that he's got him, don't help. But at the same time, the guard is shooting five for six, you know? So does he really got him? Does he really not need to help? The center doesn't know. He's going to make that mistake. I got shot creating takeover now. Do a little hop jumper step back. I love doing that with the shot creating takeover. Now, you guys may be wondering why I go shot creating takeover instead of sharp, instead of playmaking on a build like this honestly i love fading you guys have all seen it if you like shooting go sharp if you like if you want to honestly be a playmaker a sharp shooting playmaker 
you can go with that takeover. It's going to be great, especially if you ISO pick and pop, man. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.